Slimehouse TV, myself Theo Kane, back here at Celluloid Screams with Fernando Gonzalez Gomez, who you've got two movies uh, in the festival this year. We've got, you've got The Elderly and The Passenger, so I take it you're a pretty prolific director. You make a lot. I don't think I've ever been here out of all of the years where there's somebody with two movies in this festival at the same time. So can you tell us a little bit about like how you got into movies? And I, I know you're a guy that's made so many, so tell me about how it has been that prolific. Well, uh don't know we have like a lot of things to tell someone or the people and we we, we love to, to 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 make movies to make short films also we was doing short films involving in like 15 years in 36 short films you and made like 150 short films right? in between raul and i we made it yeah. uh, 150 because the these two movies are co-direction right. with uh, raul cerezo and we shoot the the passenger first on 2020 and the elderly on 2021 and now it's, it's, it's like a coincidence. It's like a, just one of those movies is finishing their, its career in, in film festival. That is The Passenger that started one year ago. And The Elderly is starting its career then. Now it's just the only moment that you can see both movies in the same film festival. Then it's, it's nice to be here and it's a pleasure to, to be selected with two movies that, as you said, is something no typical. And two birds, one stone. You get to make the trip once and display two movies to an audience that love them. And they've gone down really well this weekend. Obviously, you're from Spain, you make movies out there. What is it like, the film industry out there? Because, I mean, if you're making all these movies all the time, it, it seems like it's got like quite a well, healthy scene out there. It's a small, <laughs> small, a small industry. Yeah. But well, now like, like uh, there's no, like, like a new law about uh, some financial things about in order to get money, it's a little bit easier to start then step by step this like the industry is opening a little bit to a new directors and a new uh, people to enter in the industry we are new uh, we are an example that we started and we just because i have another movie from 2019 and i made like uh, three movies in three years and it is something is changing this guy's and a machine <laughs> but I, well, I, need, I, need, I need to stop a little bit now, yeah. for sure. This year we didn't shoot nothing, then let's, let's see next year if we shoot uh, a new one. But uh, I mean, the things are changing a little bit, the, uh, the, the market is opening and this new law is helping to the new uh, people to enter and to do their, their things. And we are, we are lucky. Absolutely, and something that like conflicts what you've done, at least with The Elderly, which was the first movie I saw when we got here, is when you're making that many movies, you're making a lot of stuff, you're, you're, you're making a lot of content, you, you, you have to film this stuff quick, long hours and that kind of thing. But you, you was filming Elderly with like a lot of elderly people, which you can't really be doing like these long hours and stuff. Can you just tell me a bit about that production and how you managed to accomplish that? Uh, well, the, the, the elder production, I mean, was not as complicated as the passenger because, okay, yes, we, we have these like elderly people in the cast. We, we, we need to took a lot of care of them because we were shooting during the COVID things and all, all this right, shit. Yeah. And then it was like complicated in a production way. But talking about directors was not as complicated as for production team because we was in a uh, in a place that you control the weather because you are like most of the movies inside the building That's right. then like you have like the lighting control the everything is under control then you feel that everything is controlled and and, and it, you, you you are like uh, sure that everything that you are doing there's like nothing is going to happen like raining or fog or whatever mm. no? because we came from the experience from the passenger that have like a four weeks at night on the forest of the north of Spain, <laughs> that, that everything can happen, even a cow crossing through yeah. the camera, or uh, I, I, I mean, was 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 experience really like a risky uh, shooting because every time everywhere something that happened can start raining, you 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 lose the the night time because it's starting to to shining and, and the sun is shining, and, and I mean uh, from from direction team we we felt like more comfortable and sure that we was doing during the elderly shooting than the passenger shooting, if, if we can compare. Was more a problem to the production team. So as a director, when you're hit with these problems, everything from a light breaking, the weather, the elements, a cow walking into screen, all this kind of stuff, what, how is your best way to approach trying to deal with those problems that constantly come up when you're making a movie? Uh, well, you, 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 you always have to have the option to improvise. I mean, Raul and I, we are like uh, obsessed of the planification, we always put the camera and we plan it a lot of time before the shooting, every shot, 
with uh, with uh, an, with an artist. He made the drawings. He made the, the storyboard. I mean, we, we planned a lot of every movement. What optical we're going to use? What 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 is the purpose of every shot? Uh, but as you said, you you have to have like the plan B. Yeah, you yeah. have to have something but because be, because in a moment you something happens yeah, and yeah. then you lose three shots and then you knew you, you have to resolve the same but in one. Normally what we do is stop a little bit, go both together to another room, stay there, talk about the situation and then plan a new thing but 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 also with language. All, also trying to say something with the shot that we are improvising. Because if not it's gonna be like a Frankenstein imagine you have like everything organized and planned and then you have like a five Ten shots during the movie that are completely improvised and have not the same feeling, not the same style. Then we try to follow the style even when we are improvising. That yeah. normally it's, you have to do. But sometimes that's where the magic is created in that spontaneity when you just have to think on your feet. Sometimes you get some of your best shots doing that. Something happened. I mean, there is there is one shot on the passenger that is one of our favorite that was improvised because we planned to do like a two shot, one from here, one from here, and we we hadn't have time because. Something happened. Some shit happened, and and then we some shit yeah, some shit happened, <laughs> and then and then and then we decided to okay, then let's go today, and then we decided to did it simple, yeah. like in a simple way, and it's worked more than the way that we uh, designed it before. Uh, then 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 something happened. This. Yeah. That's the beauty of filmmaking, that's where the art comes from. Yeah. You said that you're going to slow down a little bit, but I take it you've got some little ideas ticking or something in the future that you're going to be working on. Have you got anything you can talk about that's coming next? Well, we are trying to close an agreement in between Mexico, States and Spain to have uh, our own seal of horror that it calls uh, okay. Antidoto Horror Factory. And then we, we are trying to, to, to finish all these agreements in order to, uh, to be able to shoot like around five uh, movies in the next five years right, right. and budgets around the elderly and the passenger. This is one of our poets and we have another more ideas that we are moving around some production company that they are interested but I mean step by step. Yeah 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 well I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Just for the people at home that didn't get a chance to watch them over the weekend where can we see the elderly and the passenger from now? Is it is there any like not festivals like when is it going on to like streaming and things like that? Yeah well uh, the passenger it's now releasing in some parts of, of the world. I mean in the states it's now yeah. On demand, you can you can rent it on the states, and it's gonna enter next year in Shutter and Showtime, but only the states. In Europe, uh, they are making like some negotiation also with Shutter because Shutter this platform is going to come to Europe, and I think could be a possibility to watch there. But stay in the circuit. I mean, we are staying. I mean, the passenger is now releasing in Japan, also in Latin America, but it's it's going step by step. Then I, I think that UK uh, audience, it have to wait because we are in negotiation with, in UK. There is no distributor here yet. And the elderly is the same. The elderly just started. Uh, this is the only festival in UK that you can watch it. And next one is going to be, I think, uh, probably Belgium or somewhere. But it's, it's nothing closer yet. Independent movies, you know. We, That's why you've got to be here. You've got to be at Celluloid Screams to see it. That's Just it. Uh, before we wrap it up, how's your weekend been? Have you enjoyed it being here in Sheffield at Celluloid I am enjoying a lot your magnificent weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've had great weather this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, yes, I enjoy a lot. I, I just walk through the city, eating in some places, and the, af the afternoons that I spend here watching the movies or my colleagues, because I'm some friends that have movies here, Karim from Megalomaniac. Also, I mean, there's like a, a small world and we know each other. This night, the closing is from Isaac, that we are friends of him, that he's from Mexico. Then. There's some words of friends that I didn't watch it and now I have the time to watch. Amazing. Well, thank you for joining us today. I really do appreciate it and I'm looking Thanks. forward to your next project.